Developing tonight, the investigation into racist flyers with candy left outside homes. Right now, police are trying to figure out who is behind this. New 6's Lauren Korn is in Port Orange, where homeowners are not happy with the disturbing message. The woman tells me she found another flyer this morning targeting a different group of people, but still that same message of hate. Meanwhile, Port Orange police say they'll be canvassing this area to find out exactly who is responsible. Nobody in my neighborhood wanted this. But these flyers littered Port Orange streets, including Sugar House Boulevard, where Jane Shortino lives. I was walking the dogs and I picked up a baggie with some candy in it and a flyer. A flyer that's promoting propaganda for the KKK. This is just bull****. Shortino posted the flyer to Facebook and alerted Port Orange police. They want to walk around the neighborhood, see what else is here. But that flyer isn't the only one Shortino found. Stop AIDS, support gay bashing on it. She picked up another one along her walk this morning. This one upset me as much, if not more, because I'm part of the LGBT community and I have many family members that are also. We call the number listed. Greetings from the loyal white knights of the Ku Klux Klan. And left a message. Why is this still happening? Shortino says she too has a message for the person or people who's spreading the hate. This is a great area to live and we're not a hateful community and we don't want this in our front yard. We don't want this in our backyard. There's no hate here. In Port Orange, Lauren Corn, News 6. Well, in just the past hour, the KKK president spoke about the situation. Look for that interview on News 6 at 6.